Hello ladies and gentlemen. On my screen there is an HTML article tag that creates a product card. When I add an as popular CSS variable to the article, the card design has changed and become a popular product display card. Includes displaying an additional label and a border bottom. Likewise, I just changed the variable as popular to is new. The card design was also immediately changed to become another card displaying the new product type. No need to use JavaScript, just HTML and CSS. I can easily change every design with just this one line of code. This is just a simple example. After watching this video, you will realize that its power is much more than this. This is a video from the Zero to Hero CSS series. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to continuously update interesting videos. I have prepared an HTML and CSS file. In HTML, I use the article tag to create a product card. Inside each of my product cards, there will always be four parts. Poster, image, product information, and more. First with author, it will include a logo and my name. The image class will simply contain an image with the path being the image for this product. Class info includes two contents, product name and its price. With more, it will contain the remaining tasks. The example contains two buttons to add product to cart or buy now. Options to choose color. Each die color will be placed separately in a lead tag using the color variable. That's it. This is the content of a card. Now we will go through CSS. Body is the element that covers the entire web page. There will be a background image that I have prepared in advance. A font family pop-ins. The asterisk is used to refer to all elements on the website. Box sizing border box will be added so that when any element uses width and height combined with padding, its size will not change. Root is the place used to declare global variables used for the entire website. I create a three variable comb. Background color is used to store the background color value of the card. Text color contains the text color value. And with this design, I will be using a lot of border radius. So I also save the default value for border radius as 30 pixels. Each card will have a width of 370 pixels. However, any screen size is smaller than 370 pixels. Max width is 100%. You can use min instead of this spelling. With color, use the first local variable by declaring the var function. Inside var is the variable name. We come to the first inner child element, which is author. Author uses the background color prepared on root. Width 60% of the card, height 70 pixels. To divide columns, I use display grid. First column, 50 pixels. The rest is from the second column. The distance between the two columns is 20 pixels. Padding, 10 pixels. Now, I want to border the two upper corners of the author. So to border top left radius is equal to the border radius variable value, which is 30 pixels. Similarly, we do with border top right. The logo image will have a width of 100% of that column, which is 50 pixels. The name and the author will be highlighted in bold. Next is the image class. Will also be used in the background on route. Put the picture in the middle. Border radius for the top right corner. With picture inside, width 90%. Use transform to rotate 15 degrees. Transition to specify the time to create a change effect when the user hovers over the image. At this time, the parameters in the transform will change including rotation angle, magnitude and displacement. Class info as well as image will also contain background. Padding 30 pixels. Text align center. The product name will have its font size changed to be larger. Finally, more. This is the class containing buttons and options. 
I gave it a background that matches the color of the root. Padding is 30 pixels except top. Use flex to move the child element inside. Justify content space between to align two elements to both sides. Align items end so it lies on the bottom. I want to border the two lower corners of it. So we have border bottom left radius and border bottom right radius. To make these two buttons always have the same height, I use flex on the class containing them. The distance between two buttons is 5 pixels. Each button has the Poppins font, background color and border. However, with the first button, We'll have a width of 40 pixels, height 40 pixels, border radius 50% to make it circular. And the second button, padding left and rig 20 pixels, border radius 30 pixels. What was the tag containing the options inside? Margin 0. Display flex to put the less in one row. Justify content center and align item center to center the lead tags. The distance between each tag is 10 pixels. Border surrounds it. With max content. Border radius 20 pixels. With lead tags inside. Each tag has a background declared in the color variable inside the HTML. Width 15 pixels. Height 15 pixels. List style none to remove leading dots. And border radius 50%. Now in class card. I create a virtual element before. For now, I'll give it a red background so it's easier to see. Use position absolute to move its position. Zero pixels away from the top margin of the card. Write zero pixels with 50% card. Height 70 pixels. For a before element to work, content must be declared. Now I radius the bottom left border with the key value being the border radius variable on the root. Continue using box shadow to cover this area, provided the shadow color is the same color as the background color variable. Now I don't need the background color, so I set transparent. So I have created a pretty curved line. Now I continue to create an after element inside the card. This element has a background that matches the card color. Posit an absolute to move position. Top zero, right zero, height 70 pixels, empty content with 40 pixels. I want to create a gap with the author class, so I subtract 10 pixels. For this element alone, I border all four corners. To create a little distance from the bottom, I also subtracted 10 pixels from the height. Now, I will edit the content inside. Use display flex to move content. Justify content center to center content according to width. Align item center centers content according to height. Font weight 500. Font size large. However, by default, this element will not appear. I just delete the content attribute and it disappears. So when will it appear? That is when in HTML, this card tag is declared with an as popular expression. In CSS, we will capture this event using the container. Container is like a conditional statement. And our conditional statement here is that if there exists a variable as popular equals true, then the after element in the card class will have the content popular. It doesn't stop there. You can do whatever you like in this container. For example, I will create a box shadow for the more class inside the card for emphasis. It's crazy, isn't it? So if now, I replace this popular with is new. Popular design will disappear because it no longer meets the conditions. Instead, I create a new conditional statement for is new. If there exists a variable is new equals true, the content of after is new, and the box shadow of the more class also changes to blue. So from now on, we just need to add the variable is new or is popular to the HTML when needed, and we will immediately have a new design. Based on how containers work, we can solve countless other problems. Finally, before ending this video, 
Let's take a look at the browsers that support this container. And you can see, almost all browsers have supported this CSS container. Unsupported browsers are browsers that no longer work. So feel free to use them. If you find this video interesting, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to watch new videos. Thanks everyone. See you again in the next video.